but now he knew. He could do it because at the end of each brutal day, Armand Gamache returned here, to the tiny village of Three Pines that existed on no map, that sat in a hollow surrounded by forests and mountains, as though in the palm of some great hand. Every evening he returned here to Renmarie. He sat in the bistro and sipped a scotch and listened to the stories of their days. Clara the painter, Myrna the bookstore owner, Ruth the poet and Rosa her foul-mouthed duck. Gabri and his partner Olivier would join them by the fire or out on the terrace on warm summer evenings, their voices mingling with the trill of crickets and the gentle murmur of the Riviere Bella Bella. Monsieur Beliveau and Billy Williams and Sarah the baker and Robert Mongeau, the new minister, and his wife Sylvie, and any number of other friends would be there. All having discovered a village only ever found by people lost. Every evening Armand Gamache was reminded that goodness existed, and every morning he drove away to face the horrors, to roll away the stone and step inside the cave, secure in the certainty that no matter what he found, he could always find his way back home. There was, though, to Beauvoir's knowledge, one boulder that Gamache refused to move, one cave he would not enter. Yes, there was one person, one mind, Armand Gamache feared. <laughs>